Yo, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna explain what I have been doing for the first two weeks of Arc Nemesis League. So this is right now the third week, I believe. I will probably upload the video before Friday, so it's gonna be something like a 15 days, maybe 16 days report, something like that. So I'm just gonna explain how I league started, what I did, and what I have been doing to farm currency and level my characters. So some of these methods are not popular these days. I'm not sure why people do not do that. that. Do not do these methods, let's say. So if you think this is helpful, if you want more like these of videos, let's say, uh, let me know in my Discord. Make sure you share this video. Uh, build guides are starting next week or maybe this week. I'm not sure. I prepared three different builds right now. They are all ready. And we are going to start. Uh, yeah. So let me just explain what I did this league. So first of all, I started as Witch Elementalist Ignite because they, you know, buffed spells, reworked some Ignite mechanics on some certain skills, buffed some skills, let's say. So that's why I decided to try Ignite. Since I already created Explosive Arrow build a month ago and um, a Rolling Magma, I didn't want to do those. That's why I just checked the pass note and I was like, okay, Wave of Conviction got a big buff, let's just try this. Also Flame Blast, something that people do not even use for the past five years maybe <laughs> i remember people were playing it in one point something patch before even the ascendants were available i believe the ascendancies uh yeah so i was like okay let's just play wave of conviction and flame blast and it worked well i didn't spend maybe five exalt maybe six exalt so it was a low budget build i just uh, unlocked the whole atlas uh farmed some shaper but the damage in the end was not enough because i had something like three four million dps with that budget and i was like okay i need to something else so that's why i'm not gonna share that uh build but if you want uh, let me know in my discord maybe i can send you the pet of building uh, but it is not let's say very well designed so if you want that pet of building for some reason uh, just message me in my discord so started as ignite elementalist then I was like, okay, I have like 10 exalt um, budget right now. I need a, something to do some farm. A, a farm, it doesn't matter. So the options were just map farm immediately. But since the Atlas passives have gotten a big rework, right now there is a huge new Atlas passive system. Uh, I didn't want to try everything at leak start because I don't know my budget. I don't know what makes the most profit. I needed something guaranteed, all right? And because league starts are already boring, I was like, okay, I can also do a boring farm and maybe watch some TV series, uh, all right? Uh, if you have a second monitor or you can just minimize the videos in the same screen these days. So I was like, okay, let's do a farm and also watch some TV series. And I managed to finish like five seasons of um, TV, TV series or like Netflix or whatever you are watching. So I'm just going to start explaining that right now. So I already explained this farm, but there is also something else that I'm going to mention later on in this video. So here is what I did. I did two different farms. First one was Shaper Farm. You already know that if you are not new in this game. Just straightforward Shaper Farm. Buy the fragments from other players. People just farm Guardians whole day. They just go for formed also. Uh, get the new passives on the Atlas passive, you know, the new talent tree. Or uh, Maven Invitations. People just do that farm. Uh, you can also get Awakened Gems, by the way, in uh, Maven Invitations right now. So if that is uh, something uh, that you are looking for, that kind of farm, just buy maps, Guardian maps, kill Minotaur, Phoenix, those kind of uh, bosses. Get the passives on the Talent Tree. Uh, they are at the top upper corner, alright? You will just find them easily. There is something that uh, lets another Guardian join uh, when the initial Guardian uh, reach like low health. So you can actually kill two guardians in the same map and have a chance to get also the other guardians fragment. So make sure you get all of those. Also get the maven invitation passives that actually increases the level of the area but also increases the uh, splinter amount for the maven writ, the maven herself, alright. So you can just farm those uh, maven writ uh, fragments, get those fragments because the formed also uh, drops fragments. So just guardian farm, alright. So this is one of the farms. Then later on shaper farm. You can just use the fragments to go for Shaper uh, because let's say if the first week Shaper was like 28 chaos I believe maybe like 30 chaos a set so you just pay 30 chaos to enter the Shaper but once you drop a fragment it is 100% you will get a knowledge 
or shape fragment. They are those red fragments that you need to enter Uber Elder. So after that, you obviously uh, drop one of those, a random, all right, in every shaper, and plus a random shaper, unique, dying sun, starforge, hostess vigil, um, shaper touch, which is uh, useless these days after the scourge, because scourge isn't in meta uh, core game right now. That's why shaper touch, some of the corruptions are now worthless. So I actually haven't corrupted any shaper touches. I just vendored them all. Maybe you can do that. I'm not sure Valorb is uh, cheap. But Renzi Charge was like 9 Exalt in Scourge League. Right now it is like 30 Chaos. Maybe it is now more expensive. I stopped doing Shaper a couple of days ago. I'm not sure. So yeah, just uh, do Shaper. Uh, identify the Uniques. Maybe wall them if you want. And sell the good ones. So I sold a good Starforge for 100 Chaos. Sold a couple of Dying Suns for a couple of Exalts each. The good rolls, almost perfect ones, are super expensive. People just pay, pay for that flask. If I can find the pictures, maybe I will just also put those on the screen. I believe I sold one of the Dying Suns for 3 Exalt or something. It was almost God roll. Someone just uh, paid 3 Exalt for that. I'm not, I, I was like, okay, what's going on? People are just crazy. They just want to min max stuff. So Dying Sun is a good uh, money maker. But right now it is under 10 chaos, the uh, shit ones. So if you try to do these kind of farms at maybe first week, they are actually more profitable. Maybe you can do this in the next league if you want, but you can still do this farm. Uh, even though most Dying Suns and other Uniques are not worth, are not that worthy right now. But still the good rolled ones are maybe uh, 50 chaos, 100 chaos or whatever. And you can still make money from the fragments, obviously. I actually probably skip that part. So you just pay 30 chaos, let's say, for the set. Get a knowledge or shape. So the, I believe the upper part knowledge is right now 54 chaos. And the other part is like 60 something. So you make at least 25, maybe 30 chaos, depending on the piece you found, found uh, in the shaper. Profit per map. So you just want to farm Shaper real quick, you need a good boss killer like a Trapper, a good minion build. I'm not sure about skeletons, do not ask me that, I don't play minion builds that much. I have Herald of Purity Guide, probably the best damage uh, minion build in the game. I haven't seen any other minion build that can pull off that DPS actually. And uh, good news, uh, I will probably also update, uh, upload a new update video for Herald of Purity. Right now that build has crazy amount of DPS and that is the build I am actually using for this farm. You are watching maybe on the background right now. So I just uh, did lots of shapers. Probably more than 200 shapers. After some point I started to vendor my... Sh uh, what's that? Shaper touch gloves because uh, I, I actually wanted to just count them first. And I was like okay let's just count them and vendor them all. I probably done more than 200 maybe even 300 shapers under a week. Because uh, if I can find, you know, if the spawn is good, because as you know, the Shaper has four different uh, bosses once you just first enter the map. If the bosses are non-phased bosses, let's say, uh, something not Malakai, um, Daresso, those bosses have phases. Uh, what's that? Act 3, Dominus. So if you don't get those bosses, it actually takes three and a half minutes to complete the entire Shaper with that build. Ridiculous. Uh, the DPS is crazy. I just started with 10 exalt. And once I start doing shaper, I just invested more. I believe my character is right now 30 exalt or something. I still do not have awaken minion damage. So just go and check my uh, guide. I already have that guide, alright. Uh, go and play that build if you want. You can just start with 10 exalt. Normally you also use Arakali Fang dagger on your second weapon slot. You don't even need that for shaper farm. Because that dagger was like 4 exalt at first week. I just skipped that. I'm just leaping slam, you know, leap slamming through the whole ad phase. You don't need to kill anything. Just use purities on the boss and that's it. Just leap slam through the um, other phases. That's how I can actually finish most of my runs under 4 minutes. Super fast, good money. And I can also watch TV series on the uh, small screen, you know, whatever you have. So next uh, thing that I'm doing for the uh, couple of last couple of days, let's say maybe 3 days. So after Shaper Farm, I obviously got bored after 300 Shapers. I make, I believe, maybe like 100 Exalt, I'm not sure. Because I keep spending the money. I also bought lots of boosts uh, because I'm trying to make my characters ready for build guides. 
I leveled a ranger to 98, leveled an ascendant to 99. I don't want to push 100 levels, so you are gonna see some good end game builds uh, starting soon. Uh, that is what we are doing in this channel. I have a champion right now, 95 levels. I also have what is that? The necromancer, obviously. She is also 95, I believe. I actually only leveled my necromancer myself. All the other three characters were boosted. I just spent all the money for the boost. And after some point, I was like, okay, I just spent like 10 exalt for my ranger. Let's not spend any money for the next two characters. Maybe I will also level Shadow and also Templar later on. Um, and also I am missing Marauder, I believe. Yeah. So we are going to see if I can find any good builds later on. So yeah, right now I have four characters ready. But again, for my final two characters, I haven't spent anything at all. And I also made more than 30 or 40 exalt in the last three days. So I'm just going to uh, explain that in this section. And then that's going to probably be it. So the next farm. So this is something stupid actually. This is, you cannot call this a uh, farm actually. But if you are clever, you can do this. All right. So what is this? Five way legion boosting. I am not the booster, by the way. So how does this work? So there's a thing called obviously legion leak that was in the game, you know, a couple of years ago. They just added in. It was a good leak, probably the best path of exile leak, I believe. Uh, obviously, you can just get uh, emblems easily right now in the new Atlas Passive Tree because there are there's something that uh, actually converts a splinter to emblem with a percentage of, of chance. That's why it is super easy to get the emblems. That's why there are more boosters right now in the game. For the last one or two leagues, I believe the uh, 5 way boosting was not that popular. And it was also more expensive. But considering the price of Exalt right now, it is 126 chaos. Uh, 5 runs are actually 2 Exalt. So if you don't know how boosting works if you want to buy boost let's say just use tft discord the forbidden troll that is where those kind of services are going on so i'm just gonna explain the, how the boost works and then later on how i make money without uh, even boosting anyone i am not the booster again i'm telling you i am not the owner of the service so <laughs> there are some funny stuff going on all right i will just explain one by one so if you just want to level your characters real fast if you are not good at mapping if you just die all the time if, if that is the kind of player you are all right uh, just farm uh, maybe like four or maybe six exalt because five runs are two exalt if you are a leecher you just don't do anything you just afk in there make sure you find a party with our robot so you can actually afk or you don't actually die to random stuff so you just stand uh, in the map and that's it you are just getting yourself xp if you are a resetter you can do that it is easy actually but uh, if you just go for like maybe a couple of hours, lots of boosts, uh, your wrist actually starts to hurt. Uh, that's why I don't recommend resetting that much. You should take some breaks from now and then. Uh, yeah, a heads up for that. Uh, for that. So just pay to exalt for f five runs. Uh, if you are 90 levels, you can just or just only two exalts. I believe you can go for 94 something. So if you spend 4 exalts after 90 levels, you are gonna probably be 96 something. So for only 4 exalts, you will just level from 90 to 96, even 97 I believe, something like that. So under 10 exalts, you can just hit 98, something like that. So crazy experience, for only like 10 exalts, maybe 8 exalts, depending on the runs. Sometimes the run gets failed for some reason, people just crash or whatever. Uh, that the owner had to, has, to do, has to do a new run for free. So sometimes that happens. Even the booster sometimes crashes. All right, that happens. So sometimes there are some free runs going on. So yeah, you, this is a very good way to um, level your character uh, to you know spend that extra money. So how to farm currencies? All right, the final part of the video. So I just okay. I just want to uh, level more characters. That's why I wanted to uh, buy more boost or not buy let's say i don't want to buy i don't want to pay any more money that's why i made an aura bot or and maybe 15 exalt of budget it, it isn't crazy all right but it gets the job done you can even do uh, let's say tower farm if you have a magic find you know quantity gear uh, brand let's say you can just farm tower with this aura bot i currently have 90 resistances with this 10 or 15 exalt of budget I'm gonna maybe give you the path of building if you want. I don't know. I don't know. We will see. Uh, it is probably gonna be in the description, let's say. 
but if I miss anything, uh, message me in my Discord, alright? So I built an Aurobot for 10 exalt, 15 exalt, and if you are an Aurobot and also a Resetter at the same time, because Aurobot makes people tanky so they don't die, so they actually stay for more runs because people just level to 100. So the booster actually needs an Aurobot, let's say. You also reset while being an Aurobot, it is actually free. Uh, some people do not do that, you need to wait for that correct guy that actually looking for a, an Aurobot resetter. They will say, if you are an Aurobot and resetter, it is free of charge. So just wait for those guys, uh, uh, after a couple of runs, if the guy likes you, if you are not bad, let's say, if you can reset good. They actually also add you to your friend list and you can even join for more runs later on. So I am actually friends with like 4 or 5 guys right now. It is easy to find a party. Uh, just make sure you are a resetter and robot at the same time and you just get boosted for free. You can even level your characters to 100. You can play an robot as a, let's say, necromancer even. Uh, Ascendant Scion, Champion, Duelist. Um, probably also Guardian, uh, Templar. So these are the uh, classes that you can play an aura bot. Make sure you get all the defensive auras. I'm not even using the offensive ones. And here is how to make money. So because you already have plenty of open jewel slots on your initial gear. Because you have like, you know, the purities, determination, defense banner, grace. I don't know, discipline, vitality. So the defensive auras are enough because the carry do not need any DPS aura. You are not running with the carry, you just reset and stay with the group. That's why you only need the defensive auras. It means that you will also have lots of plenty open gem slots on your uh, the gear, you know, the gear that you are wearing. Also, you don't need flame dash or anything, you can just move to reset. Uh, you can even ditch flame dash, anything cast when damage taken, maybe molten shell, you can just get rid of all of those. You also have lots of slots on your second weapon slot. The easiest way is 3 plus 3 socket, you know, 2 different weapons maybe, so 6 sockets total. But you can also use the Malone Quiver plus a 6 socket bow that makes 9 jam slots on the second weapon slot. So let's say 9 on the second weapon slot and at least 5 or 6 on the other, you know, the initial gear. So more than maybe even 15 jam slots available. Because the 5 way is something that has a crazy experience going on. It is super easy to level gems to level 20. Or you can just even go for big and level awakened gems. It will also take uh, longer. So you just level gems, get free boosts and sell those gems back while watching a TV series on your second monitor. You are technically don't even investing that much, not doing anything. Leveling your characters to 100 and also makes make you know dozens of exalts profit without doing anything almost. You just need maybe every like a one hour or maybe two hours maybe you need to uh, rest your wrist you know because i believe last night or maybe the previous night i joined for like like you know non-stop three hours of five ways and i was like my wrist is killing me i need to stop so don't do that make sure you rest all right uh, so th that is probably uh, pretty much how i farmed lots of currency in this couple of weeks uh, at leak start that's pretty much it yeah, if you need any maybe further information, maybe I missed something uh, in this video, I'm not sure. But I believe I uh, explained everything. Uh, one thing about the gems, I'm not gonna tell you what gems I leveled because I don't want to mess the uh, market prices, you know. But just check what people uses on the leatherboard. Something like, let's say, uh, maybe Ice Spear, Poison Concoction, any support gem that is expensive, any Aura, Animal's Rat, Divergent Vitality. So these are some ex examples. Uh, just check the leatherboard, check what people are buying, check the PoE Ninja skill gem um, statistic page, alright? Uh, so you can just be like, okay, I'm gonna buy these gems and try. Sometimes you don't even need to wall the gems, by the way. Let's say, final example, let's say a gem is 50 chaos, the not level, non-corruption non version, alright? 50 chaos gem, you just buy it, level it to 20. And if you corrupt it, let's say the 21 is 5 exalt, alright? Good money, yeah. Alright, but if you don't corrupt it, sometimes people buy it for like 1 exalt, just to try the corruption. So let's say if I can find a gem like that, 5 gems, I paid 250 chaos, because they were 50 chaos each. Leveled all of those to 20, not walling any. 
but selling each for one exalt let's say so that also makes five exalt so if you can maybe wall two gems in that five gems but that is not very likely by the way unlikely uh, that is unlikely oh, i couldn't find the correct word so if, if i can actually level two gems in that five gem total i can make more profit but sometimes you cannot even level a single gem to 21 in like 10 gems 15 gems even sometimes you just waste all the slots so maybe you can just not corrupt them and try to sell them like that uh, because non-corrupted ones are again more expensive because people actually buy and wall them uh, they try their own luck so let people waste their rng if you want if you think you are unlucky do not even wall them uh, just put them for more profit but because as soon as you wall them they just lose um, value maybe you can just sell a non wall 20 level enamel of something to one exalt but once you just wall it bam goes back to 50 chaos so there are gems like this just check the market uh, again i already gave you a couple of examples there's the, those were some good gems but there are more gems there are more gems that than i can actually find you know just check the market there are dozens of gems let's say at least maybe 20 or 30 expensive ones uh, that's pretty much it thanks for watching uh, guides are starting soon uh, so stay tuned for that make sure you subscribe if you haven't even you know and again join my discord i talk to people all the time i will see you later bye bye